Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the beam. So what is beam and why we use beam in our structure members? So I'm going to explain this topic in a very simple and easy way with examples and with diagrams so that one can easily understand beam. So you might have heard this word very commonly in civil engineering because it's the main structure elements in any kind of buildings. So I would explain here in a simple terms that beam, that beam is a horizontal member, horizontal member used to take bending this is very important used to take bending or flexural stresses so now this is important to understand these two terms so beam is a horizontal member it should be kept in mind it's always a horizontal member and that is used to take the bending or flexural stresses so it's only designed for bending or the flexural stresses now what kind of stresses these are so first of all let's consider these two pictures first of all consider this picture number one where we have beams in our structures so here we see the horizontal member you see this member which is going here this one which is going like in this way so it is a horizontal member you see here it is not a vertical while this column is a vertical member because it is vertically positioned this column is a vertical member this column is a vertical member but a beam is a horizontal member you see here this is a beam which is a horizontal member the other one is also a beam which is a horizontal member and this one was also a beam which is a horizontal member so so beam sorry i draw something i deleted something else so basically beam is a horizontal member when the beam is acting for when the load is acting on the beam for example this was the beam you consider here this horizontal this is a beam we know it is a horizontal member so when the load is acting on this beam because of the floor or because it's not fully constructed this structure so after this floor will be constructed so when the floor is acting on this beam and there will be people or furniture load is acting so basically there is some kind of load acting on the beam so due to this load the beam will bend like in this way it is a very generalization of the uh, deflection of the beam but that, that amount of that amount of deflection is not possible because this is too much but i just wanted to show that here the beam will deflect or in this way so actually we have some bending in the beam so that's why the member the horizontal member that resist or that takes the bending stresses because now the beam is bent so it will take the bending stresses or in other words flexural stresses this is the same word is bending stresses so in in this scenario we will call this member is a beam member because it is a horizontal member and it takes the bending stresses of the of the structure similarly if i consider into the second diagram so we see here there are different beams for example this one is a horizontal member this one is a horizontal member also this one is a horizontal member this one is a horizontal member these all are the horizontal member which are basically the beams so now if i remove them and draw the stresses here so when these beams are loaded later on for example load will act on this it's not completed now but when it is completed there will be some load acting on these beams so due to these loads the beam will try to bend in this way and we will have some bending stresses in this beam so now this member which is subjected to bending stresses or it is able to resist the bending or flexure stresses this member is known as the beam member so this was the definition of the beam in uh, in, in terms of the bending stresses or uh, flexure stresses. Now, for example, if I consider here in a more simple, easy way, so let's consider these are the two supports and there is a beam. And this is a rectangular beam supported by two hinge and roller support and there is some load acting on this beam maybe uniformly distributed load or maybe pointed load so what will happen the beam will try to defend to try to deflect like in this way this 
this will be the new deformation shape of the beam maybe my drawing is not good but it will def deformed or deflect in this way and we will have if we look to the cross section then what we will get if i draw the cross section here of the beam for example this is the cross section then keep in mind that if this is the neutral axis of the beam neutral axis then what we will have then the top region will be in compression it will be c compression while below the neutral axis it will be another region which i call it here tension so when in a member there are two different kind of forces created one is compression and one is tension then these two are known or i can call that these two are related to the bending or friction stresses when you have such type of stresses in a member in a horizontal member compression as well as the tension in a member then it means that the member is subjected to the bending stresses or friction stresses and this member is known as a beam so now because of this load acting on this beam here and the top we have, we have a compression and the bottom we have tension so for tension we know that we provide here reinforcement in the tension bar in order to take the tensile stresses and for compression the concrete is quite strong enough to take the compressive load while for tension reason for tension region we provide always the steel reinforcement to take the tensile stresses so hope you guys understand that what is beam it is basically a horizontal member used to take the bending or friction stresses thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video and also please don't forget to like and put your questions in the comment so i can answer or upload video according to your comment